Here's everything you need to get started programming right now. I'll cover everything from the equipment to the strategies and tactics required to start coding, programming or hacking right now. Number one, a computer. The first thing you need to start programming right now is a computer. You don't need to invest in anything fancy or expensive. Just a basic desktop or laptop will do. A smartphone or tablet with an external keyboard is enough to get started. In fact, I started programming with C++ in 2019 on a 13-year-old desktop running Windows XP with a Pentium 5 processor and only 512 megabytes of RAM. If you're a beginner who doesn't have a specific use case yet, don't buy a Mac. Get a regular PC, something with an SSD memory, at least 8GB of RAM and a modern processor. This will allow you to do almost anything in programming. Websites, mobile apps, games, desktop apps, ethical lagging, etc. Next, you'll need something to write your code on. This comes in the form of a text editor like Notepad++ or Notepad, a code editor like VS Code or Sublime Text, or an IDE like Visual Studio or Android Studio. Here's the distinction between the three. A text editor is a simple tool for writing code. It's like a digital notepad. It's great for basic coding tasks and it is lightweight and easy to use. A code editor is a step up from a text editor. It is designed with code in mind and provides features like syntax highlighting, code completion and vision control integration. Editors like Sublime Text and VS Code are very popular choices amongst many programmers. An IDE or Integrated Development Environment is a complete package. It includes a code editor, a debugger, build automation tools, and often more. IDEs like Visual Studio and Android Studio are comprehensive environments suitable for larger and more complex projects. Which one we choose will depend on the programming language you are using and the complexity of your project. Some prefer the simplicity of text editors, while others opt in for a more feature-rich IDE. It's all about personal preference and the specific requirements of your project. We now have everything that we need to get started. But where are we going? What is it we are trying to achieve? We need a goal, a destination to work toward. For me, this usually comes in the form of a roadmap. In programming, a roadmap is basically an ordered list of all the technologies you need to be able to do or be a certain type of developer. For example, here's what a web development roadmap in 2023 and 2024 looks like. And here's one for ethical lagging or penetration testing in 2021 and 2023. To create your own roadmap, ask yourself what you are trying to accomplish. Do you dream of building websites? mobile applications, desktop apps, or video games. Once you have a goal in mind, find the right roadmap that aligns with it. Follow the link on screen or in the description to help you with this. Remember, it's very crucial to stick with one roadmap and stay focused and avoid getting overwhelmed. It's often said that failing to plan is planning to fail. So now that we have a computer, a roadmap, and a development environment ready, it's time to create a plan. Grab a pen and paper and start scheduling your coding time. Dedicate a specific amount of your free time to programming each day. Consistency is key here, so try to stick to the same time and same place every day. This will help turn coding into a habit. Take the individual technologies from the roadmap and allocate time for them over the coming weeks and months. Having a structured plan will keep you on track and ensure steady progress. To master programming, you'll need resources. These resources can come in the form of books, online courses, and YouTube tutorials. When you're just starting out, lean on free resources like YouTube courses and online courses such as FreeCodeCamp and Harvard's CS50. It's not necessary to invest money in courses right away, as there are plenty of valuable free resources out there. Keep in mind that many paid courses might cover the same topics that are already accessible for free on YouTube. 
And the final and most crucial ingredient for success in programming is passion. It might sound cliche, but it's absolutely true. If you don't have genuine passion for writing code, your journey can quickly turn into a struggle and you might not stick to it. So before you dive in, make sure you are passionate about this field. Programming can be an incredibly rewarding experience if you are doing it because you love it. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Keep coding. See you in the next one.